Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, we got another. We got another uh, StarCraft II uh, ship. Wow, that's kind of actually intimidating and gross looking because it's a Zerg ship. The Zerg Guardian. <laughs> Organic ship, I like it. Very, very purple. Is that the, um, oh, what is that called? I forget which unit that is in, uh, in StarCraft II. StarCraft PTSD there. There we go. Uh, let's see what the description of this is. Organic Cruiser Type A. This organic ship from the Zerg can fire a barrage of three projectiles every few seconds. The ship has, the ship has no drone slots. The ship has protection against ion weaponry. Slugs equal Zergs. Mantis equal r rogues. Uh, I'm not sure what the Mantis equals. I'm not quite sure what that means. Rogue or rouge? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what that is in, if these are Zerglings, the Slugs are Zerglings, the Mantis are, are they the Roaches? Roaches, maybe. I think maybe the Roaches in, uh, in, uh, StarCraft 2 as a Zerg unit. We have Reverse Iron Field, Double Heavy Laser, do we have an Artillery? We do. Uh, is the Heavy Artillery another Heavy Laser, maybe? Okay, Roach is R-O-A-C-H. What you're spelling is Rogue. That's to call him. Uh, let's see, do we have Gibbs for the Rebellion? We have the best type of Gibbs, the Multiverse Gibbs. All right. Okay, let's see here. Hopefully the artillery didn't break with that. I don't think it did. Looks like we have missing... Uh, I think it's the Manning Light image or something is what is missing when we get that little exclamation point there or something. Uh, but this ship looks intimidating, that's for sure. Two heavy lasers and a... I don't know, does it tell us what the artillery is? It says, the description says it's a beam, but I don't think it's a beam from the description of the ship, so... Alright, let's see what we got here. Uh... We have a, an immediate missile ship. I like how your shields are... The circles. <laughs> Nice, nice. We are the ship that we're always afraid of when we fight it in Sector 1. The ship with double heavy laser ones. It's the laser... Ah, it's the... Is it the phase 3 projectile thing? Let's see. Oh, it's the beam. It's the... It is the Federation artillery. Okay, Basil Gollum says it's a laser projectile. It was not the laser projectile. It was the artillery beam. So I think either you didn't do it right or I had something happened when I loaded it. Because that is definitely not the boss artillery. Uh, let's see. So we'll be able to do 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. So if I go through here, we need to be here in 8. So here in 7. So 1. Think something happened with the loading? Uh, okay. I don't know. Um, well, sometimes artillery, you know what, here, we just started. Let me go back to the hangar. Let me restart it. Sometimes when I reload, like, when I do the four of the rebellion thing, that messes up artillery. I don't think that happened here though, but I'll reload it just to check. Yeah, the artillery works, it's just not the one that I think you meant for it to be. Uh, I, I wanted to reload just to make sure it wasn't something with my, uh, you know, artillery getting messed up by, uh, the For the Rebellion Gib Checker thing. I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure I didn't mess anything up with loading the mod. Alright, so what kind of missile you got? That's a one damage missile, I think. And, okay, good dodges at least. Darn, I had a good start on the last one, but... It's only two jumps we miss. Okay. Got a double fire, well, a fire in the weapons room. Very nice. 
Unlike a certain C-class ship, though, you don't have to wait 50 seconds for it. True. Thank goodness it's not Fed C. Uh, I don't care about that. Field hitbox slightly larger than visual. Yeah, usually that happens when you have a perfect circle, I feel like. I don't think usually the shields are a perfect circle in uh thing. I'm gonna probably sell the reverse ion field. Uh nice for a little extra early scrap, but I don't actually find that a super useful system. I'm gonna do that to get back a battery and one more dodge. Maybe I should just got the shield value, honestly. Uh, reject their offer and substitute my own. By the way, you have a missile. By the way, you have a missile. Hopefully no fire there. This is, uh, I gotta say, just the visuals of the ship with the, like, shiny carapace and stuff is a little disturbing. <laughs> Like, I am flying around in a giant, uh, scary insect looking thing. Get our second shield value there. Oh, we do have extra health. You're right, I didn't realize. We started at 40, I guess. That kind of makes sense with a, you know, hard outer shell. What are these? These are. Oh, man. My brother watches StarCraft 2, and I sometimes watch StarCraft 2 competitive. One, two, three. I have to go this way if I want there, so. Five, four, three. I'm trying to remember what these are called. I think these are from StarCraft 1, actually. Are these from StarCraft 1 or StarCraft 2? There's the guys that morph into the long range dudes. Brood? Brood mothers? Brood somethings? The bots are back. Oh, great. Okay, he dodged my first volley. Not great. Come on, please hit. Oh, come on. He's dodged 50% of each volley, and I've dodged zero shots so far. Come on, game. Come on. Oh, we're going to have to rely on artillery here. I just got frickin'. Just set my doors on fire. Okay, there we go. All right, doors are on fire. We need to fix that now. Yeah, that was a that was a little bit of a rough fight there. We got a map though. Okay, hopefully the fire didn't spread. It looks like it did not. The doors are quite interesting. Um. Or the rooms, maybe I should say. We have no sensors. Like, the way the doors are separated, or the rooms are separated is interesting. It makes me feel like I cannot see much of my ship. Like, this room is connected to only a couple rooms and stuff. Quite interesting. It's the guarding. It's a unit that was in a concept to spill on the fires of StarCraft. Files of StarCraft. Okay. Uh, I feel like that's a unit that was maybe in StarCraft 1, but maybe wasn't in StarCraft 2, but I can't remember. Uh, Moobot is self-promoting. What? Okay. <laughs> well, you gave us two weapon value points, which I like. Feels a little generous, I have to say. Two weapon value points. All right, free crew, but we don't take it because it's we. That's a guaranteed high scrap reward there. Twenty scraps. That lets us get our second shield, which we need because we're going into an asteroid field. I'm going to do this. We'll back up battery our artillery. Two, three, four. Two asteroid fields. Yeah, this, this unit reminds me of a unit from StarCraft 1. I, I 
can't remember what it's called. Um, it like evolved from another unit, if I remember correctly. Mutalisks into something, I think. But I could be just completely misremembering. You do have to hit all your shots to be able to damage enemies right now. Except for artillery, yes. Except for artillery, that is right. This is the main downside to this build. So, But if we find any other one or two power weapon, we're suddenly ridiculously strong, I think. Um, okay. An auto hacker hacks my artillery. All right. Mutas are a little bit too small to create ship for the player out of. Okay. Okay, even the level three with this hacked. I don't know if it'll ever go off before we kill this guy. I don't think so. Oh, we took it. Damn, we took the damage. Damn. Oh man, that's perfect timing. Ow. Oh gosh. Okay, well we got a repair from it, but ow, the double fire. Ugh. That was a three damage heavy laser shot with a double fire after doing two damage. Ouch. Hitbox is kind of way out. Oh, uh, what are you talking about? The hitbox of the shields or something else? I haven't been paying attention to that. Shield, look at it next time it gets hit. Okay, I'll try to remember to do that. How do I like the size of the engine room? The six size engine room is interesting. Anytime we get a, a large room, it makes for weird image things. Um, it's It doesn't look bad. Um, do I like it though? I mean, it'll be weird if we get boarded by a bunch of people, so. I'm not sure if I like it or it's just interesting. I think it might just be interesting. Okay, let's see. Oh, it was way out here. That something needs to actually hit my shields for me to see it. Uh, we should be able to see with an asteroid. Wow, I think it's actually way out even here. Yeah, wow. So this, so you can see here, there's where the actual shields are. The image is out here, so it's a good like three inches away from where it actually is. That's quite interesting. I, uh, the giant room on the Emperor's Fist. I remember, I think, a long skinny room in the middle. Where the rock crew had to run all the way across the middle of it. Is that the one you're talking about? Okay, nice free stuff there. Right, I really need a weapon. Keep that in mind if I get cloaking. True, I'm going to have to cloak earlier. That's a good point. Cloak earlier than I would think because of the shield image being misleading to where the actual barrier is. Okay, he's gonna run. He has missiles. Oh, excuse me. Trying to hit shields. Hmm. Okay. Ouch. Please don't do that twice. Two damage missile. There we go. Got a fire. If we hit one more room, the pilot will be pulled. Nice. No running away for you, sir. That was a nice uh, beam swipe right there. Oh, okay. Small bomb. Great weapon. 
Um, I am in the single digits for all of my consumables, but still a great, very good weapon. Yes, I do remember the giant skinny room for sure. It was pretty fun because, you know, watching some rock dudes run very slowly across it while my mantis were shooting him the whole time was quite effective. All right, let's, uh, let's greed out for this store. I'd like enough for uh, first laser two if there's one available. What's up, Six Cubes? You hope my weekend was was well? It was. I had a good rehearsal on Saturday with my uh, acapella group, getting ready for a gig, and yesterday was a long day, but it was a good day. Had uh, early morning service at my church job, so I was definitely tired. But... Wait, that's he's got to repair drone 100 percent because there's no way that mantis repaired that by himself that quickly. This is a productive weekend, I'll say. Productive. Oh, how about everybody else? Everybody have a good weekend. You have a good weekend, six cubes. Hopefully, y'all got some rest. Uh, stun bomb for four fuel. Not sure if worth. Does it sell for, what, three times four? More than 12, then it was worth. All right, it was a gain of 10. Do you have any weapons? You do. Okay, let's get that charged laser, I think. So I'm probably not gonna use this small bomb except for if I'm going for crew kills. Buy all that fuel. Um. Let's go ahead and buy sensors. And I kind of need power now, but I want to... I wanted to buy sensors. Although, when you have... What was the, what did it, we, what we learned? We learned something last week. When you have less than... Five, six, eight, nine, ten. When you have less than 11 systems, you are more likely to find systems in stores. We learned that last week, so... If I stay at this number of systems, I'm more likely to find hacking and cloaking at the store. Which, by the way, which systems do I even want? Uh, probably, probably hacking and cloaking. You wish there would be no weekend. You're a weird one winning. You're a weird one winning. <laughs> Everybody can't wait for the weekend. You wish the weekend would never arrive. I don't, I don't know. Maybe if you have nothing to do, you get bored. Or something. Or maybe less people stream on the weekend and that's what you like to do with your time is just watch streams. I don't know. Um, there's always an option. There was an update and Mantis has got reworked. <laughs> uh, now they repair faster than NGs. Yeah. Yeah, sure, that's what it was. Uh, not so restful you weekend, but you got a lot done. You made a thermo study sheet and revised two emotes. Nice. Hidden just loves his job. Okay, okay. Well, you're one of the lucky ones. Love your job. Uh, okay, so even with level 3 artillery, I'd rather have these weapons than the artillery. Oh, gosh. Okay, that's fine. Uh, oh, they went into there. Actually, um, then some humans into the heal bay, hopefully. I'm doing this without pausing just because, just because for practice. What is your job, Inan? Have you ever told us what your job is? I thought you were in school. Uh, okay, I'm gonna turn that off. Yeah, tell us about this amazing job that you never want to have a weekend off from. You are in school, okay. You must really love school then. Um, wow, this is a lot of nebula beacons. How are we going to make use of all these? One, two, three, four, five, 
four, five, six, seven. Okay, we just want to hit all the nebulas, I think. Beep, beep, bum, beep, bum, bum. Free NG? It's not a free flak, but it's almost as good. Almost as good as a free flak as a free NG. Dooby dooby doo dude. Field the ship. He mind controls the NG we just got. Yo, dog. It's just. It's rude. He just got here, though. Just got here. I get there before he actually does damage. No. Okay, oh well, it's fine. Double reward? Double reward, nice. Yeah, do you need a... Uh, oh, you probably don't need a permit. If it's their Twitch emotes, you can probably just show them off, can't you? I want to see them six cubes. Draw off the em emotes you've been showing, that you've been working on. What do we got? Six cube, Donkey Kong. Six cube, quenchiest. <laughs> What's the quenchiest? Is that you like... That to do with staying hydrated during the stream or something? I like him. I like the 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 uh, face on your quenchiest emote. Uh, it's Sokka. Oh, Sokka from uh, the Last Airbender. Avatar. <laughs> That's great. Nice. All right. Uh, one, two, three. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Dive, maybe. Do one more jump before I get some power here. That's great. I love the expression on his face. It's very Sokka-like. And he's like the comic relief in the show kind of thing, right? Okay, how is my Mantis losing this fight? Okay, let's do this. Let's swap him. Get him lower. We don't want the Angie to get the fighting training. We do want the Mantis too, though. Like the DK one? Yeah. What is something recognizable. So it's a GG Donkey Kong. GG Donkey Kong emote. I like it. <laughs> He's got the smile on his face. Yeah, it might be a little hard to see the GG in its smallest form. I feel like that's one of the hardest things about emotes, is making them recognizable in small forms. A hard thing to do. And, and their smallest, uh, what is it called? Uh, resolution. See, Kestrel Adventures had a human that lost an NG. I have a mantis that lost a human. I did, and it's not right. It's not right. Long range scanners, okay. Let me get one power and small bomb. Yeah, small bomb. Sorry, artillery. I know you're level three. No, oh, we're going into half power here, though. Um, okay, we should be pretty safe here, except his small bomb could be. A little sketchy with the hits. Uh, we have the two shield value points, so we should be fine. Beautiful. Is there a uh, reference to your stream with the Donkey Kong mode? Is that like a game you play a lot? Or is there some other story behind the Donkey Kong? Uh, the Donkey Kong one was inspired by my GG Cookie Time. Nice, nice. <laughs> okay, missile plus boarding here. You play DK 
on uh, Smash Brothers a lot. Okay, very nice, very nice. So GG DK. It looks like that's the one that most people like, so well done on that one. It might help to have um, something I've discovered with emotes is a black outline on letters sometimes makes it clearer to see. So if on your Donkey Kong emote, if you keep the red and yellow you have but put black outline around it, it might be clearer or smaller. Because I think having a border around things makes things pop more on smaller emotes. Yeah, give that a try. See see how that uh what that does for the emo. Oh wow, I don't even have to I don't even have to dive. So the insector. Do I like the ship? I do. It's I feel like if I saw this coming at me in space or anywhere, I would run. <laughs> and the ship is quite strong. Um I'm curious. I'm I'm planning on getting cloaking. I'm curious what the cloaking image is. I Your last cloaking image was just like a big open white space, right? So I'm hoping it's not that, but we'll see. Cloaking images can be one of the hardest things to create though, I know. Your depth monster ship would like to have a word with this ship. <laughs> they want to go toe to toe. What's up, Brevin? How are you doing? Oh, there's a lot of pew punage going back and forth here. Ow! Nice ship. Yeah, it's uh, this is from Bastel Golem, Starcraft, uh, Starcraft inspired ship. I keep trying to think. Hold on, I have to look it up. Um, Starcraft Utilisk. Okay, the Mutalisk, what does the Mutalisk turn into? Doesn't it turn into something in StarCraft 1? Uh, and that's what this thing is. Guardian. Oh, it is called a Guardian. Okay. Yeah, the Guardian. All right. That must be from StarCraft 1, I guess. I just, I didn't remember that term, I guess. Nearby Sun. Do I want to do a Sun? Not really. Um, we actually don't know the cloaking image on this, but it's probably the plain old your paint scour. Okay, well, we'll check it out for sure. Okay, 18 free scrap. Take that. So, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Okay. Guardian. I did not remember that Guardian word. I didn't watch Brood War as much as I watched StarCraft 2. I think that's a Brood War, StarCraft 1 Brood War unit. Wow, he just dodged every laser. Okay, well, he has to get very lucky, lucky to do damage, but still. Bro, your dodges, though, bro. I don't see this monstrosity of a giant insect and think Guardian. I think, I don't know, Terrorlisk or Crab Insect. Wow, okay, well there's a map and there's all of our stores and they're all up there. Um, or do I want a bunch of ship fights and quests or do I want store? Uh, stores win runs, but I kind of just want to get a crap ton of scrap this sector. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is... Every jump is scrap game potential. I'm going to skip the store, get some dodge, and hopefully next sector we'll get our systems we're missing. Mr. Crabalisk, yeah! <laughs> crap. Money, 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 money! He's Mr. Krabs in... Starcraft. I would love to see a Mr. Crab Starcraft crossover. Hey, SpongeBob! I'm going to eat you! 
or something. I don't know. My sorry, my Mr. Krabs is probably impression not very good. But a beep bum bum beep bum beep But Mr. Krabalisk, that's a great name. <laughs> You bet there is a crossover somewhere. I did see, uh, just randomly watching YouTube over the weekend, I saw, uh, Asmund Gold is a big WoW World of Warcraft streamer that I just have on my list of YouTube videos to watch sometimes. And he did a react at some point to Patrick as a Patrick from SpongeBob as a uh, Why is there fire? What is happening? Did he just mini beam me and a fire started? God damn Iron intruder drone is effing me right now and he just dodged everything Wow Wow so he dodged my entire volley, I intruded my shields, and started to fire in my weapons. Doesn't matter how stupidly overpowered I am, FTL finds a way to F us. Damn, that sucked. Uh, but it was Patrick from Spongebob as a paladin, Ashbringer, epic, ridiculous video that was actually really funny. And he watched a bunch of those, and that's what Mr. Krabalisk make, makes me think of watching that. Patrick Spongebob World of Warcraft crossover. The shirt reminds you of the Covenant from Halo and its color scheme. What's better than money? More money! <laughs> Said Bilbo Seggins. My weapons got mini-beamed and, and it was a fire in a single... Well, I, I'm assuming it was a single tile fire. Man, that screws us over so hard because we were going to get every jump. Now if I get every jump... I'm diving. God, that sucks, man. And there's nothing I could have done. I don't have hacking. He needed to just not dodge every effing shot and iron intrude my damn shields, man. 78 scrap. Nothing to sell. I'm just gonna... God, I don't even know if I'm gonna do a quest now. Spongebob, one of your favorite cartoons. No shame. It's a great show, man. It's one of those where even if you're a kid watching, your parents can watch and have stuff to crack up at. My sister has two kids who are both grown up now, but when they were kids, they watched Spongebob, and she would watch it with them because it's just that and Avatar were actually the, the shows that, the cartoons that they would watch that she loved too because it's just, there's great, just it's just it's just funny good stuff spongebob and avatar are both great shows i need to heal actually i thought i healed last time but apparently not lots of hidden adult humor in it yeah like i remember one where like spongebob's going to driving school and it's just a bunch of it's a bunch of great jokes about i don't know people who are bad drivers or something uh, God, I want to go to the quest, but if I go there, I'm diving, so we're not diving. This is sector two, right? No, this must be sector three with how many sector, with how many two shield bits we're seeing. Well, no shields for me. Okay, no weapons for you, though. This guy really hates my backup battery. He's gonna have cloaking up. Alright. Honestly, I cannot believe how much damage we've taken with such a ridiculous start on this ship. He's got two shields and an effing value point. Goodness gracious, dude. Frickin'. Slug pirate cruisers. No, I'm taking the scrap. Slug pirate cheaters, I should say. Twenty-eight scrap. Okay. 
Well, we still have a decent amount of scrap. Not nearly as much as we would have if we didn't get completely wrecked by the running away ship. Ugh, Rebel or Zoltan. Uh, I want a store, but I do not want to deal with Zoltan Border Police, so we're going Rebel. Uh, has some surprisingly nerdy jokes sometimes, like the one with Plankton accidentally snapping an atom. I don't know if I remember that one. But I do remember a pretty funny Plankton episode. He's always trying to steal Mr. Krabs' Krabby Patty recipe or something. There's like one particular episode where that's the entire episode, and I feel like I remember it being pretty funny. Um, do I think the enemy ships get st struck with fear when they see the player ship isn't in the normal art style? I mean, it's a giant, scary crab, so I would. So, yes. I'm gonna say yes. How? How? How are your shields? He's got a repair drone. Again, 100% he has a repair drone. Which would mean 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 drone power on this guy. Because they are repairing so fast. Uh, no, I don't care about that deal. Uh, little Plankton dude, always angry. He also went to college. <laughs> okay. Uh. You doubt enemies are very surprised with the ship. They must already know about it if the rebel fleet is following it. Okay, it's the first flak we've seen this run. No, no shields for you, sir. Zombie Shop, thank you for the tier one sub, my friend. That's a year. That is a full year of subage. That is awesome. I really appreciate the support. Pop, pop, pop. Don't die, please. Okay. Heal. 12 months of subage. Amazing. You love the episodes where they get stuck in Sandy's dome during hibernation. I don't know if I remember that one. I mean, SpongeBob has been like on forever. I feel like there's just so many good episodes of it too. Like there's so many SpongeBob memes out there. Uh Halberd Beam. Wow, none of the systems I want. But that is a Halberd Beam. Okay. Um should I buy this and just maybe not get it online yet? I really want hacking. Uh, maybe do this. Mm. Two shots plus a halberd beam. Sector four. I don't think they'll have three shields. Season two, so that's an old episode. You're Dirty Dan. No, I'm Dirty Dan. Okay. <laughs> all right. I've watched some SpongeBob, but I don't. I don't know all the episodes, so I don't know all the references. Sadly. <laughs> Oof, that's a lot. Of okay, good. Go. Nice. Now only the combat joy to deal with. All right, I would like to get one more weapon online, but I also, nice, we got our fleet delay. Also don't want to um, make myself unable to buy hacking if we find it. So do we have potential weapons to sell? I am going to do a weapon upgrade here. Something like this, I guess. There was a band episode that was pretty hype. They started a band? Or is it like band as in, you know, Squidward is a clarinet player and it's like that kind of high school band or something? Okay, don't kill the NG, please.
Uh, oh man, if that ion had hit us, that would have really screwed us. Thankfully, that didn't happen. I need to not let that hit us. Okay, good. Okay, all right. Uh, they played in the Super Bowl. For a cartoon, it has a surprising amount of live action bits. Yeah, like any time they had like the voice actors would like show up as real people doing their voices or something randomly. I think that's what you're talking about. I think I remember that happening a couple times. What's up, Contasul? Uh, okay, shieldless. Let's go for it. Um, there she is to stay up. I keep fighting my Angie with my Mantis. I'm sorry, Angie and Mantis. I don't want to do it to either of you. Okay, what do we got? 104 scrap. Hoping for another store. Rebel control. I don't know if we'll get two. We have five, four. Three, two, one. I guess we'll just get all these jumps. There's a store down there. Will we dive for it? Mm. Rebel's probably one to two. So one, two, three. I'm going to get all these. They'll be playing their song. Then the camera would pan to a bunch of real humans in the stadium cheering and the David Hasseltoff bit in the original movie. <laughs> yeah, David Hasselhoff. Uh, yes, I vaguely remember David Hasselhoff in the movie. It's like the Baywatch version of him, right? Or something? I think it's a Baywatch thing. Missile offline? Beautiful. SpongeBob, you'll believe, has the same developer as Ren and Stimpy. Well, I think... I think at least one of the voice actors is the same guy who did the Ren and Stimpy voices right i know i know a lot of those voice actors have done like one famous voice actor will have done like you know 20 of the famous voices and i can't remember their names but Prince stimpy was also one of your favorite cartoons I'm trying to remember idiot or maybe maybe i'm thinking of the ren and stimpy guys like there's a bunch of the voices in The Simpsons or one of those other shows or something. Did I ever see the David Hasselhoff animatronic? Uh, no, I don't think I've ever heard or seen of that. Double ion, sport drone power running away. Okay, this is this is a scary ship. I have seen David David Hasselhoff as. Um. Hold on a second. Uh, what's that? What's that musical? Uh, Jekyll and Hyde. I think I've talked about this on stream. There was a, he was, David Hasselhoff famously played the lead role in the Jekyll and Hyde show, and it was really famous in Germany. And there's this ridiculous clip of him talking about being on Knight Rider after the show of doing Jekyll and Hyde or something. But what is the David Hasselhoff animatronic? Uh, you have an image link, huh? <laughs> SpongeBob replica auction. Oh my gosh! I'll have to look at that more later. Is that was that for the SpongeBob movie, or is that some like fan-made thing? Quest marker. Well, okay. Only place we could have gone. That's where they filmed the live action part of uh, the SpongeBob movie. It's crazy. Remains. Oh, I love this. You took long enough. We have practically no use. I refuse to pay full price. Remain silent. Power up your weapons. You make a good point. You traveled all the way here. Uh, you know what? Must have been a difficult scenario. We'll even tip you. That's right. 60 scrap. 
All right, beautiful. That's the actual prop they used for the shot. That's crazy. Made it an animatronic. That's hilarious. All right, well, nice free repair. Wow. I want to a rebel to avoid Zoltan, so let's make sure we have another Zoltan. Oh, do I go Zoltan? If I go Mantis, I have a potential force to ban, and I guess I'm going Zoltan here. I know, dear lord, they made an actual David Hasseltoff. Hasseltoff. Hasselhoff animatronic. It's, that's crazy. All right, I'm gonna get doors. Get power. Oh, why did I think I could get that small bomb online? I don't know. Right, we're in Zoltan Homeworld, so we want empty jumps, all, although Zoltan Bait Worlds means. Alright, three freaking humans on board. That's what it means. Go ahead and go in there. So I can vent you. Bling bling. Come on in. Uh, okay, you don't want to. You would rather vet yourselves than go into the heel bay. You know, I respect that about you humans. You understand that you are worthy of venting. Funniest thing about this event is that you don't have to have any weapons in slot. You could literally scare them with your empty weapon systems. Well, you just have to have to be a high enough, a high enough level, right? That's the thing that it checks for. Love that you can work while listening to FTL SpongeBob talk. What a world! <laughs> what a world! What a wild! What a wild! Right. Shooters on board. Man, we've had two jumps this sector, and they've both been freaking free human borders. I don't think we've gotten anything for either of them either, have we? Come on, game. Come on. <laughs> Excuse me, I have been sneezing a lot lately. Okay. Uh, pollen is really bad in Houston, too. Oh, maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I think it's because I've been singing a lot. When I sing a lot, my sinuses get... Oh, inflamed or something. All right, well, I know it's... Wow, all these ship fights is actually good for us. We know there's no... built in Homeworld's quest. Any of these jumps. Uh, can I make this? Six. I need to make this in five. Yes, we can't make that. Oh, uh, Dunk Shirt, and thank you. Still no Sultan quest there. Uh, Nazdrawi. What language is that? Ah, oh, there's our hacking. There it is. There is our hacking. Okay. Um, I'm gonna sell this because we're gonna put that on my sure. Ninety scrap for the weapon power. Let's go ahead and work towards... Well, let's get level 2 hacking. Let's do that first. We'll probably go for third shield or cloaking next. I can't check any of those now. Oh, look at that weird overlap of the lines. Does that mean that... Well, this connects to that, and this connects to that. That's crazy, actually. Uh, Nazdrawi is... Bless you in Polish. Oh, okay. I apologize if my Polish was really bad, but cool. <laughs> Polish is definitely not one of the languages I learned to pronounce in college when taking diction courses for singing. Good 
Yeah, I just know. Oh. Uh, five fuel and two drone parts is a pretty good deal. I'm gonna be greedy though. Because greed is good. Computers are kind of amazing. Like we just tricked a bunch of sand into thinking with lightning. <laughs> wow, I've never heard that before. Good description of computers. We tricked a bunch of sand into thinking with lightning. Exactly what computers are. Exactly. Can't think of anything more appropriate. All right, we're gonna be hacking weapons every time because wow, that's crazy weapons we're seeing here. Sounds like a quote from I don't know a movie or a comedy special or something. Can't dodge, let's go and do this. Beautiful. You don't know where you heard it from, but somewhere vaguely on the internet. Sounds like a Reddit thing. Or something. <laughs> Alright, 78 scrap. What am I working towards? Third shield or cloaking? Okay. This could be Zelda Homeworld's quest, which would be listen, hear them out, hear them out. There we go, hear them out. Oh. Okay, we can do that. And actually, one, two, three, four. Since I know that these connect, that is actually perfect, beautiful. All right, that's a three shield chip. So we definitely have to hack shields here. Oh, an ion intruder drone. Oh. Uh, you go get indoors right now. And that's Ray Boards, of course he does. Okay. Okay, that's offline, perfect. So everything in the shields. Do, 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 do. Get one shot, bro. Nice. Good fight. Hacking plus Albert being baby. Gotta love it. So good. Alright, 106 scrap. Could get my third shield. I'm not getting a store this sector. Unless the exit beacon is a store. So... Although if I get Zoltan Shield, I don't feel like I just need third shield this second. Nazdrawi requires W to be read as V in English, otherwise you don't think much of IPA is needed. Okay. Nazdravi. Naz Nazdrovi? Maybe Naz I, I would need the IPA for what pronunciation of O is. O ah. Uh, I guess maybe Nazdrovi? That sounds Russian to me. But I don't know if Halberd, uh, Halberd, I don't know if uh, Polish should sound Russian. I think it probably shouldn't. <laughs> but I, I know next to nothing about Russian and pretty much nothing about Polish. Uh, we didn't. How did we not get that offline? There's a fire in there. Oh, this could hurt. You get hit my weapons, all right. Do, do, do. Okay, that'll get him up. Four fuel, one drove part? No thanks. We're still greedy. Because IE, I would read as an E, but that's kind of German rules that make me think that, so. Uh, okay, so we get quest here. 
Hail them. Reconciliation of our deals without war. True progress can only be achieved without bloodshed and NGs. And, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I turned your blue circle into a green circle. You know what's better than a blue circle? A green circle. They're both Slavic languages, you think? So if you're not really familiar with any Slavic languages, they can sound similar sometimes. You think it's simply O, mid-high back. According to the chart, and you also need to add E like one in the word cat at the very end of Zdrovia. So, Nozdrovia? Man, that does sound Russian to me. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. Nozdrovia! Okay, alright. Um. Fun with languages. I love that I get to learn stuff like that on Twitch. The coolest thing to me about being a streamer on Twitch... Oh my gosh. Four shields, first jump, sector five? Is this five or six? It's gotta be six. Is learning stuff that I would never learn in my normal everyday life. I love that. I think that's the coolest thing about the internet and being on Twitch. Don't hit my weapons, please. Oh, I have Zoltan Shield, baby. Ha <laughs> ha, Zoltan Shield. Wow, this guy's got three NG repair dudes. He's gonna insta repair everything. But not dodge anything, so get wrecked. So a bunch of NGs on a pirate mantis bomber. That was a four shield mantis bomber in sector six. Okay, it is sector six. Alright, well I'm hoping for cloaking here. Hope for cloak. Am I applying? No one in the church choir knows a Slavic language. Um, the church choir I sing at, yeah, I, I, I would, I would say that's probably true. I mean, in Dallas, Texas, I don't think anybody in the church choir I sing at is familiar with Slavic languages. Uh, I could be wrong. There are some people that do a lot of traveling in the church choir, Matt, but I don't know what languages they would know. Alright. What I will tell you is people in church choirs usually, when they go on trips, it's always to like, you know, the Holy Land, as they call it, since, you know, it was that whole, they want to visit the places that are in the Bible. <laughs> so they all go there. And I'm like, man, that's just desert. I feel like that would, I don't know, there's probably cool places to, to visit, but I don't think I'd want to visit, you know, all that stuff. Not to mention, it's also the place where there's like wars all the time and the Gaza Strip and all that. Okay, so the IPA. Uh, Jekuya? Je I don't know where the emphasis is. Jekuya? Okay. Wow, I have so much scrap. I guess I am going to get the weapon upgrade, because Zoltan Shield makes me feel like I just don't even need to get the third shield yet. Polish is a great language. Alright, um, yeah, we're just hacking shields every time here. slow on my hack here. Thankfully the shield is up. Okay, double mantis boarding party. If you'd love to learn language, you just don't have the focus for it. It's a lot of work. Like if you're not a child who's like developing so that you like just learn languages as you're learning everything else about the world. I feel like learning more languages as you're older, unless you have just a brain for it, is really difficult. Unless you're, like, living around native speakers and hearing it all the time. You also have ADHD. That would, that would be an extra hurdle, that's for sure. Yeah. 
That would definitely be an extra hurdle for that. Between D, J, and E, uh, I don't know what the E, uh, what the little tilde over it is, though. There's also a sound you speak like E and sheet. Jekuye. 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 I don't know. Man, where are my systems, man? Where are my systems? This is an NG sector, so I've seen two stores. I mean, another heavy laser, another halberd beam. I could go double heavy laser, one double halberd beam. That actually sounds pretty insane. I'm not going to get it online yet, but I'm going to give myself the opportunity for that. All right. Hacking double halberd beam. Let's go. Four... Three, two, one. The only t place I can see a sword be there. Uh, your friend decided he wanted to learn more languages, so he said his base language to French on all his devices. Nice. So now he has to navigate menus in French, I guess. And, uh, oh, somehow I messed up. That up. I missed that on one jump there. The E with the tilde over it sounded something you could find in French. Kind of weird. A prolonged E. Not sure how to explain it. Okay. All right. Yeah, that was the hardest thing for me when I had... Okay, good. I did one Russian aria... Russian language aria in college for school. It was called Lenski's Aria from Eugene Onyegin by Tchaikovsky? I forget who wrote the opera. Um, anything but a human I'd take. And I just had to listen to a famous, a famous Swedish tenor named Nikolai Geta sing it in Russian. Because he would, like, spoke Russian over and over just to get even close. And I was probably not even that close with my pronunciation. So Slavic languages are definitely not. Like, even just the the Slavic letters, I forget what that's called. Cyrillic or something. I just, I see that in my brain goes, I don't know what I'm looking at. Do double beam looks really badass. Oh, where are those beams coming from, actually? Because I don't actually know where the weapon uh, slots are, the weapon positions, whatever they're called, are. Oh, it comes from the claws! <laughs> yeah, that does look awesome. <laughs> the pain is that he isn't tech savvy and has to ask you for help and you don't know French. <laughs> <laughs> so he's bad at computers you don't know French and between the two of you you're probably lost that's funny free hole repair drone okay so I need that store um, we are sector 7 so I need level 3 hacking Could do that and still afford cloaking as well. So let's do that. One, two, three. Do I do that? Let's skip the distress. Nah, let's go to the distress. We have NG for blue options. Hopefully, we can get a free crew or something from this. Uh, search for the ship. No, oh, I can get five free hull damage though. Hey, everybody, I got five free hull damage, but you know what? I didn't have to pay for it. It was free. Get four free hull damage, get one for just one penny. Freehold Damage City! Freehold Damage City! Hi. Hi, I'm Cy Greenwald. I love Spatula City Spatula so much, I bought the company. You found it. Apparently, A is like ing. The N with the thing is like an ng sound. Ng? Ng? I don't know. Or maybe inya. I know there's a lot of J-glide sounds in Slavic languages from what I remember from my study. 
So, nye. Maybe nye. Maybe that sound. Like onion. Maybe laser two. Okay, let's get the cloaking. Uh, let's see what the cloaking image looks like. Oh, okay. Alright, it's not a weird white image. I'm glad of that. Uh, clone bay. I do kind of want crew. For this low crew, I feel like I might even need to buy the clone bay. The best things in life are free. But you can give them to the birds and bees. I need the money. That's what I want. Or however that song goes. Uh, shield trained NG. And a clone bay. I'm going to do that. That means you've been a silly device all this time. Welcome aboard, silly device. Run is blessed. Bless us with thy silly deviceness. I'm a little worried about phase three of the boss right now. Because with double halberd beam, we're not crew killing. I don't have mind control, and this is my anti-boarding crew, so... Get the battlefield. I don't know. Trying to talk about language using Twitch chat is uh, a, a difficult thing to not be able to actually hear the sounds you're trying to describe. I feel quite behind this run, I'll be honest. So it should be something like this. Jienkyuye. <laughs> I know that's probably way off. Jienkyuye. Uh, no idea what sounds I'm making with my mouth right now. I just hacked his shields. I actually can't do damage to him now unless I do this. I, I mean, I hacked his weapons. I meant to hack his shields. Damn it. Uh, okay, I can do this, so. I'm speaking crab is what I'm speaking. <laughs> it makes as much sense as crab language to me, I'll, I'll be honest. Oh, nice. Okay, they hit the shield. That's good. There we go. A lot of big guns for such a small ship. Uh, the enemy ship you're talking about? Alright, so I need uh, like two engine power. I need one more weapon power. Um... What do I need the most right now? I just need power for days. Let me get one more power and save for... What am I going to do? Save for the weapon, maybe? Found an example. Two to three seconds from the timestamp. Jianki? <laughs> Jianki? Oh, that's... Hey, we can do Johnny and Spiders. Jianki? Uh, wow. That is a... That is not a word that fits in my English-speaking mouth very well. Hope you're not annoying at this point. I always love sharing the stuff about Polish language. Oh, well, not annoying. I just... I, I probably... Let me hear that again. Jionkion. <laughs> There's a lot of nasality going on in that. Lots of in the nose stuff there. I feel like that's sometimes why French is kind of hard for English speakers because we don't have as much um, nasal stuff in our language. Maybe that's not a good way to describe it, though. 
That is a lot of shots. Okay, let's cloak it. Good. Well, that's a double firing shield room. Um, can I finish him? I can. Yes. Okay, good. Oh, where'd the clone bay go? You put the clone bay in a different room than the heal bay. That's that's weird. I will say, Bastille Golem, most ships and, well, every ship in vanilla, you put the clone bay and the heal bay actually in the same room. So that, since you can never have both on the same ship, you actually, it's normally put in the same room. It's very strange to actually have it in two different rooms. Not used to that. Do you have a lot of sounds like that? People like you, on the other hand, struggle with the TH sound because you don't have that in Slavic languages, at least not in Pol Polish, yeah. It's kind of like the R sound in a lot of Eastern languages, like Chinese. It comes across as L's because they don't really have that R, uvular R or whatever that sound is. Or or they don't have the L and they... It's L's and R's get mixed up, I think. Uh, let's see. Yeah, like the whole, uh, what is it? Uh, the Christmas... Christmas story where they sing it fa ra 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 instead of fa la la. <laughs> that whole thing. Squirrel is a fun word. <laughs> that that's a nightmare for uh, like native Chinese speakers that or any any language that has a hard time with R's and L's. Uh, German struggle with th as everyone knows. Uh, Poles also. Devoice the final consonants of words, which can backfire spectacularly. I'd like to order food. Comes, I'd like to order foot. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Well, I'm sure English speakers have our own weird things when trying to speak your language, like not being able to say yeah, all those glides that you have and those nasal sounds I was talking about. An English person or a, a, an American speaker trying to speak French that doesn't sound ridiculous is probably funny to native French speakers, I'm sure. How is the murdering going? Quite murderous. We have beams in our claws. We are a StarCraft ship with beam claws. It's pretty nice. All right, I, need a, I still need a lot more scrap. For this ship to be like done. Um, hmm. I feel like I'm gonna be diving if I go down here. I, but I feel like my ship can handle a dive decently well. You're a German and you don't struggle with TH? Okay. Well, judging by your Twitch chatting, Twitch spelling, you struggle with some other things though. <laughs> Bastelgum, so I wouldn't brag about your language skills. Too much. <laughs> uh, okay, the missile blocked it. That's good. I'll block the missile. I'm gonna cloak that. Could you hold on? We're gonna do this. 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 Now we can't dodge everything into weapons. Another example is us ter uh, transforming crab into crap with our devoicing, so you can be pretty funny. Okay. University, you get to hear two English speakers using Polish. It makes you smile sometimes. Ouch. Was that was that was that mean what I said? I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I didn't mean to be mean, but it is interesting to see some not non-native English speakers spelling of English words, or attempt at spelling of English words sometimes. Yeah, that is double first laser twos. Sorry, if that came across mean, I just, I apologize. I don't know. I'm just, I'm trolling chat as chat. Chat often trolls me, I guess. That, that's my excuse. Which is no excuse, I'm sure. Alright, uh, okay, we've made some decent scrap this sector. 
Not like there's any consistency to spell English spelling anyway. That's true. That's one of the memes about non-native English speakers learning spelling in English. All there's like five thousand rules and twenty thousand exceptions, exceptions to all the rules. I before E except after C, or as in way, as in, or as in A, as in neighbor and way. What's the, uh, Brian Regan does a joke. Or on the second Tuesday of the month, or, <laughs> or, uh, the word there can be spelled, is, is a homonym, what is, is, is a homonym where it sounds the same, but there's actually three different spellings of there. Maybe he's dyslexic, but can't speak like a native speaker. You never know. Okay, yes, I'm sorry. I apologize. It seems like what I said was very mean, and I did not mean it to come across mean. It just sounded like bragging to me, so I should have... I should... I don't know. I'm sorry. I feel like I say sometime, things sometimes where I think I'm being sarcastic, and it comes off very rude, so I apologize. Oh yeah, that's the Brian Regan joke. I before E except after C, and when sounding like A as a neighbor way, and on weekends and holidays and all throughout May, and you'll always be wrong no matter what you say. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Brian Regan's amazing. you always be wrong no matter what you say. <laughs> wow, that's a very, it's a very mean rule. That's a, that's a, a complicated rule. <laughs> that's great. Nice. Yeah, that's so infinite. I like it. Okay, hacks my O2, that's fine. I'm trying to get some crew kills here, so... If I do that... That... Oh, that didn't get that offline, okay. English speakers trying to use Polish may sound funny, but Poles kind of forget that most, if not all, objectives, adjectives of ours have 30 plus different forms. Yikes, that sounds terrifying. 30 forms of every adjective? What, is there like male and female forms? I know that was one thing I had a hard time with in Spanish was that uh, well like there's, what is it? There's me, m female, every every noun is either female or male or something like that. So you have to, so it can be L or La, and you have to know for each noun which, if it's a female or male form or something. If you can't speak freedom words, that's not our problem. Go America, that's right. Not my problem, you can't talk right. Don't know how to talk good like I can. Learn to talk good like me does. Like, like me do. All right. Um, I want cloaking value. I don't think I can get any other. There's no other jumps that I can really get to unless I go there. That gives me potential scrap gain. Go O2 value, I guess. Male and female form, case, number, degree, and probably something else you forget. Yeah, that sounds like I would never even try <laughs> to, to be able to figure that all, all out. Each case has a different form for male singular, male plural, female singular, and female plural. And that's for adjectives. That sounds like, um, what are the action words? Not nouns, verbs. That sounds like verb tenses or something. Man. No, I'm probably getting tenses mixed up. I don't know, I'm not the greatest at language anyway, so I shouldn't be making any comments about anybody's language, so apologies again. as late as possible, but I have to go a little earlier because of the placement of the shields. 
I didn't just fire during that, did I? No, okay. Oh, he is in my piloting. That is not good. Uh, but I should be able to finish him off right now, actually. Alright, zero damage phase two. Very nice. Nouns go through that, but without degree, so it's roughly ten forms per noun. Okay. On the bright side, there are only three tenses we've got compared to the twelve in English. Oh, okay. I can't even remember what the tenses are called. Is that like... You know, past, present, future, past, participle, future, participle, all those. Oh my god, I don't even remember the words for all those. It's, it's so long since I've taken a language course. Are those, are those, those are tenses, right? Those, okay. Alright, uh, he can board us with three people. And I don't have the mind control counter. So, we have to hope. Result and shield protects us for a while here. Okay, we're through. That's great. Missile. Great timing. Beautiful. That's a one shot. GG cookie time. The guardian ship from Bastel Gollum. Oh, I apologize for what I said about your English. Your English is way better than any of my second languages. So the Zerg guardian with our crew of five. Same in German. You have der, male, d, female, das for objects. English is just the, and you would envy for it if it didn't have the th sound in it. <laughs> 5143. That was actually a pretty low score with how strong we started out, I feel like. Polish is apparently one of the hardest languages in the world, or at least you read that somewhere. Okay. <laughs> From what I've seen and my experience, I would think like Chinese or Polish or Russian would be really hard. So, Alrighty, my friends. That was a great ship. Thank you again to Basto Gollum. We're going to play another of his ships. I think the Protoss Mother ship is the next one. So all the StarCraft ships. But really quickly, I'm going to stand up Treachery's restroom. Thank you all for watching. Hope you're enjoying. Always a blast hanging out with you all people and talking about random stuff. When we come back, we'll do more StarCraft in FTL. See you in a bit, my friends.